levels of stunting are likely to rise if measures are not put in place to address the high cost of food. Our reporter Agnes Pender spoke to some parents on the effect of the high cost of living on a child's nutritional needs. Jerry has just arrived with her baby, a one and a half year old toddler. She puts down her flask of porridge that she has carried from home. This is where she and 20 other mothers leave their babies as they head to work. Most of them are flower farm workers who can ill afford the 30 shilling a day fee for their child's daycare. <laughs> This is a local daycare, and as much as Pauline Mutua cares for the young ones all by herself, there are things she cannot do for the babies, like providing them with nutritious meals. And it's not that there's a big difference with the food brought by the parents. On the table, there are containers, one for every child, white rice with black tea, ugali with skumawiki, white porridge with just some sugar, and for the few luckier ones, some milk. Uh, this daycare is part of a kindergarten school. Some of the children here are provided with food by the school after their parents have paid a sort of a lunch fee. The menu appears to offer a better diet than the parents can afford. The parents have cited a high cost of living, which has led to the high food prices as a major factor in their food choices. Joanne Maina is a flower from Mwaka in Isinia, Kajado County. She has come to pick up her baby. Mm. Trends like this have contributed the 26% malnutrition rate in Kenya. Three out of ten children are malnourished, leading to stunting. Urban centers have not been left out. The rate for malnutrition in terms of percentage may not be that high. You may even find uh, places like Nairobi with uh, like even less than 5%. But the truth is, the number of the absolute number of children who are malnourished within like Nairobi would be very high. Experts warn that stunting in children is the main cause of underdevelopment of children. If a mother is packing uh, one egg, packing some rice and some vegetable and possibly even a fruit. It may be enough for, for that day. Agnes Penda, KTN News.